getting this right. Welcome to the oh. cake show. <laughs> Hey guys, so I am back in my childhood bedroom. We are at our parents' place for the holidays and I'm here with my twin sister, Katie. Hello. So Katie agreed to join me for a couple of videos and today we're actually going to look at some childhood photos. If there's a few funny stories or memories to go with them, we will share those with you. While Kate does normally spend a lot of time looking at a crutch, <laughs> today is <laughs> because reason. she has a kitten there. I've got our brother's new little baby. This is Harley. Oh, she's going to sleep here. It's the first day of kindergarten. <laughs> and I can remember going shopping for all your school supplies. And it was actually exciting. You're like, oh, I'm going to do pink this year. I know. But we always chose the same thing. In different colours. In different colours. Yep. And even though mum didn't want us to be twins that dress the same, um, we, we always <laughs> ended up being twins that dress the same because we like the same stuff. My brother didn't want to touch us. <laughs> None of these. Hugs. Hug your sisters. Mm -hmm. I just like to point out the fact he's wearing one of those dog <laughs> oh. caps with the flaps down the back. So he thought he was too cool for us. And, and fact, he wasn't cool at all. I have nothing to say about that. I think we're adorable and that's the end of that. Just for the record, I'd like to say <laughs> that the uh, little crybaby on the left is Kate and she spent probably half of her childhood crying about something. Childhood? <laughs> Life. <laughs> Kate was our little princess of the family and she used to, you know what you're probably crying out there? You're probably crying because you got mud on your dress. <laughs> <laughs> you used to, if Kate got dirty at all, she was like straight inside and she had to change her outfit and she used to drive mum mental. This picture, I just remember the necklace jingled and Well, it was shells. Shells from grandma's Fiji trip. So already like that necklace was like exotic. Yeah. And can't really see my skirt because I'm holding the cat mm -hmm. in front of me, but I had the pink spots and Kate had the yellow spots. With the elastic waist, which is quite trendy now. Well, and I'm just <laughs> looking at the way you got your shirt tucked in and the high waist <laughs> skirt on. You know, everything that goes around comes back around. It totally does. And then we have the matching earrings, yes. which were just cool. And they were shells too, weren't they? Yeah. Like, it all went together. Like The nice chunky stud, like you're wearing right now. And, <laughs> but and then you're doing like the real um, model esque, like glancing off into the horizon, like you're looking and you're imagining your future, <laughs> yeah. and it's so bright that you've got to like cover. <laughs> and that was our um, childhood cat Bluey, who was an ex show cat, and he didn't really like us. He really, really <laughs> hated us. So that's why he kind of looks a little bit awkward because um, anytime we picked him up and we adored him so much and we wanted to play with him so bad but um, he sort of endured us. But it's like to think about it when you have to hang out with someone that you don't really like, it's awkward. So. It's awkward. So, but we didn't get that. We completely missed that all at this stage. We didn't realise he didn't like us. And that's all good. Even though like the whole scratching and yowling all the time should have been a pretty free <laughs> giveaway, but no, <laughs> we didn't get it. Boobies! Boobies! Maybe this is just a kid thing. Every kid goes to his face. <laughs> we thought this was hilarious. It was the funniest thing ever. Except I loved that dress and it absolutely stretched, stretched that oh. dress out and I couldn't wear it anymore. I just remember that shirt, that got all cracked. Because he stretched it out. stretched yeah. it out. Yeah. But it probably didn't help that our dad thought it was hilarious. It was a fun joke, but it ruined my outfit. Forever. Completely. This one was um, a school excursion and that was my very first boyfriend. <laughs> I loved him. And then he moved. This became like the story of, story of my yeah. young childhood every time I had like a blossoming romance. So it was Dude. either just a really bad coincidence or he, their parents just they went, oh, so that's the girl you like, we're gonna move. I think it's time we move <laughs> to another school. So I'm sitting there chewing on my fork because that's what you do. When you eat pizza, you chew on your fork. And you know, there's, there's it's kind of every kid has to go through a stage where they're the awkward third wheel <laughs> on, on a date. <laughs> 
It's like a rite of passage. We've all been there, you know, and you just got yours out of the way, nice and early. Year one, six years old, awkward third wheel. Except, can I just say, you do the awkward third wheel exceptionally well? Well, to be honest, I wasn't aware I was even on a date, so... <laughs> The oblivious third so wheel. Real. And look at us both rock and tie dye. It was both cool. rock and dolphins. <laughs> dolphins and tie dye with a little bit of check and rollerblades. That's our childhood right there. Captured. It's awesome. The epic play at Christmas time. And this year, like, was the year that we didn't do anything. There were no lines, there was no real choreography. It was just basically us walking in. Oh no no, there was choreography. Because <laughs> it was this really slow. We were... <laughs> and that was it. That was the end of the thing. But we would go away to one of the bedrooms with all the cousins and we would be in there for a good mm, hour, maybe two hours, practicing. <laughs> practicing this little nativity scene with one piece of choreography. That was the worst part, especially this one. It lasted maybe five minutes, if that. And we gathered people from the <laughs> rooms. We're like, come on, we got this You play. have to come out. You have to come and watch it. And they sat there and it went maybe five minutes. And then they're like, you could see all the parents looking at each other almost to say, really? Is that it? <laughs> Toby Cat was the most placid, chilled, cool cat in the world. And he used to just lay, like he would just lay in his little crib, literally on his back with his little legs up. Yeah, the just lay there through the whole thing. And I just remember the aunts and uncles like oh. cacking themselves laughing yeah. at this ridiculous cat laying with his big feet stuck up in the air. Not going anywhere, he's quite happy to just be a part of it. First time we ever learned how to shave. Mum went down and picked up the safety razors and then we had a little tutorial. I remember being really paranoid because every, everyone else was shaving and we weren't yet. Yeah. And be like, Mum, we need to shave, we need to shave our legs. So Mum kind of put it off as long as she could, but yeah. then because we were going to high school, high school the next year, yeah, so Mum finally right. succumbed and said, oh. It's not an epic photo by any means, mm. like you don't go, oh. No, it's not glamorous. This is real life, everybody out there. <laughs> That's All you young girls like. <laughs> who are sitting there thinking, I wish I was allowed to shave. There's nothing glamorous, just look at this photo. This is what shaving is. It's not like the commercials, no. where you're in flowers and floating around you. <laughs> it's nothing like that. It's sitting on a dirty old carpet <laughs> in a dodgy hotel, shaving your legs, cuts everywhere. <laughs> That's real life. This next one was Michael Jackson. <laughs> What's really sad though about this is when we had ourselves painted up like that, we were like, this is like the best special effects makeup <laughs> ever. Whereas really it was just sponge with white paint, black around your face, and then just big fat black paintbrush going. So fantastic. So brilliant. We weren't kids that mum and dad bought us Maccas every day of the week. But this was a big deal. This was a special night that we had Maccas for dinner. So I think maybe, <laughs> of course we're gonna wear it. <laughs> it's like, we've gotta make this last for as long as we can. Like, we, we don't it. know when the next time we're going to have Maccas is. So we're once consuming the food. What do we what do, do with the wrappers? I mean, we'll wear them. We will tear little eye holes out of them and we will wear them on our faces. <laughs> so I actually think Matt may have started it yep. and he put the bag on his head. And then you and I, of course, went, well, now that we see the bag on your head, it just looks so cool that we're gonna have to do that now. And yeah, the rest is revealed in this photograph. That's what you get with bored children who don't get McDonald's very often. But then you took it to the next level and you went, I'm not going to just wear the wrappers on my head. I am the king. I'm also going to wear a cool up <laughs> on my head as well. And you look thrilled. Oh, I look happy. You look thrilled. 
Yeah, my eyes. <laughs> you just look so happy. It's the eyeball. Well, no, if you actually zoom in and look at that close. You can smile. Like, <laughs> little pudgy cheeks are showing. So I probably was in that going to see. the greatest <laughs> thing in the world. Sounds about right. We won't bombard you with too many photos. That's just a little touch of our childhood. Our childhood and some of the memories that we have together. Hopefully it wasn't too boring for you and vaguely entertaining. If you like this video, two thumbs up. Come on, that you say that because I never say well, that. Well, I have to say it. I have to encourage you to, if you like Jess's videos, thumbs up. Like and it. if you liked seeing Katie in my videos, let me know because I very much enjoyed having her in my videos. So you can get her to start her own channel. Don't know about that, but follow the link to Jess's page and like all her other videos. <laughs> she won't Just do it. But as a twin, I'm saying, yeah, get on there, support her, give her some likes. Thanks, Joe. You're really welcome. It's really nice. Yeah, that's mm. what sister's for. And until next time, guys, see you later.